Hello. Today we're going to talk about goal seek. Now, goal seek isn't a function. It's not a standalone feature. It's the kind of tool that you use to analyze a situation. So, oftentimes you might see a question which looks like this shape. So, I've got this information here. So, this looks like some kind of a future value kind of scenario where I'm investing a certain amount of money over a certain amount of years and it's and the interest rate is compounding annually. So, it's kind of some kind of an investment situation. So a goal seek is applied to a function. And so the function for this context is gonna be a future value. I'm not trying to teach you a future value function now, but the moral of the story is I do need to set this up first. So my rate is here and divide that by 12. My years are here, I'm gonna multiply that by 12. My amount is here, I click okay. And so what this just tells me is that if I invest $100 per month over 15 years at a four and a half percent interest rate, I'm gonna end up with $25,641.47. So where goal seek comes in is this is a tool I can use to answer questions like how many years would I need to pay into my retirement account to reach $100,000? So if I want to apply a goal seek, I'm going to click on a cell with a function or a reference to a function and the goal seek tool is actually under the data tab. And under the data tab, it's in the data tools group under what if analysis. So it's pretty buried. And then you can see I finally found the goal seek. So this is a part of what if analysis found under the data tab. You get this little dialog box. And so it says set cell. Uh, notice it's highlighted B6 because that's where I was. Good. Two. And so it's 25,006 blah, blah, blah right now. I want to make that into 100,000. All right, so I want to change it to that by changing the years. So I point to years, and this is not going to work. I'm going to show you what a bad goal seek looks like. I click OK, and hopefully I see it jump around like that. Perfect. That's a good indication that it didn't go well. I click OK, and what in the heck was that? Right, a negative number in times of years, there's scientific notation, right, what the heck? All right, so that didn't work. The good news is there's a reasonable explanation. So I'm going to undo. Let's just redo that process again. So the problem was that this right here is red and it has parentheses, which means it's negative. So if I've got a negative value there, then I need to account for that in my goal seek. So what if goal seek, I want to change B6 to negative $100,000. And so some folks uh, will make this a positive value in an earlier step, and if that's the case, then this is going to be a positive number that you're seeking. So you just have to have consistency there. I don't have an answer as to whether that should be positive or negative. There's not a rule to that. The idea is that if it started off negative, then you're going to goal seek a negative number. If it started off positive, then you're going to goal seek a positive number. I'm going to click OK. And I click OK. And I see that it's 34.690 blah, blah, blah. So that's exactly how many years it would take me to reach $100,000 if I'm contributing that amount every month and earning that rate. So Goal Seek is a really cool tool to answer simple questions like this. And so that's how you use Goal Seek. So the, the big trick is just make sure that that value that you're seeking is consistent in terms of its sign with whatever is in that cell in the beginning. So if you keep that in mind, you shouldn't have too many problems with the Goal Seek outside of finding it. Thanks for watching.